It is the biggest night yet in the presidential campaign, and former President Donald Trump comes out the victor on the Republican side. We're going to make America great again, greater than ever before. Thank you very much. It's been a big night. The Thank former president won all but one of the states on Tuesday and leads rival Nikki Haley by hundreds of delegates. The former U.N. ambassador won Vermont on Tuesday and Washington, D.C. over the weekend. The reason I'm doing this is for my kids and your kids and your grandkids. On the Democratic side, President Joe Biden was by far the winner on Super Tuesday, except for losing American Samoa. The president released a statement asking Americans, are we going to keep moving forward or will we allow Donald Trump to drag us backwards? Haley had hoped more voters, even Democrats, would choose her as an anti-Trump vote. But it proved difficult to get enough primary voters to adopt the strategy. My primary concern in this election is the preservation of America as I know it, um, which means leadership that is not Donald Trump. So whether that is supporting President Joe Biden or whether that is, you know, casting uh, a vote for a more moderate Republican, either achieves that goal. Reg Mitchell disagrees. Donald Trump. Four more years if we can do it. The first four went well as far as I was concerned. Younger voters are turned off by the advanced ages of the former and current presidents. First time voter Dona Mendez chose Democrat Marianne Williamson. I feel like Biden's getting too old to, I guess, run a country for another four years. Um, and it would be nice to have like diversity in the office, especially first woman president. They uh, call it Super Tuesday for a reason. This is a big one.